Hey dudes, HW here. Thank you so much for watching Tone Junkie TV. Unless you've been living under a rock, you know that Tone Junkie and Stu G have partnered up to bring you the awesome Stu G collection. It is a collection of Kemper profiles, yep. of cabinet IRs, mm -hmm. uh, even some Helix stuff. And uh, who knows what's coming in the future. Yeah. But um, what I wanted to do was show everybody what is in this first park pack. Great. It's the park profiles, both channels. Yeah. The channels link together. Yeah. There's direct profiles. There's mm -hmm. studio profiles, of course. It's dual profiles of the park and the JMP50. That's right. Which is the final delirious rig. That's right. And uh, it's also performances. Mm -hmm. uh, we've, we, we did Rain Down. Yep. We did My Glorious. Yes. And uh, we did Did You Feel the Mountains Tremble. Correct. And, and we copied a bunch of your tones, your effects that mm -hmm. you use on your board from various you know, um, uh, effects units. Yeah. And we put those into the Kemper, and I think people are really gonna love these effects. I think so too. Work hard on them, and uh, you know, th there were some nice surprises within that. You yeah, know, how, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, with, with the delays and the ambience yeah. and the reverbs and what have you, but you know, you're such a pro at this. You know, I'm, I'm picking up tips all the time about <laughs> presentation. About presentation, the Kemper, about everything. Yeah, so um, the, uh, these effects, first of all, the delay sound glorious in the Kemper, the verbs sound great. And I learned a thing or two from watching you put, dial in the flanger and the chorus mm. and even the fuzzes. I don't think I've ever heard the Kemper fuzzes sound this good. So I'm really excited uh, for you guys to have uh, Stu just sort of walk us through some of the tones that we put in these performances and um, yeah, take it away, Stu. The, the, the fuzzes were actually kind of a surprise too because yeah. if you try and put fuzz into a Kemper Using it as a pedal platform yeah. doesn't work. Right, right, right. Yeah, so um, uh, it's... But, but the built-in fuzzes, yeah. I think you got sounded really good. Sounded great. really good. Yeah. I'm, I'm really happy with those. Yeah, yeah, really lush. Cool. So, yeah, do you want me to talk about the rain down uh, setup? Yeah, let's. Um, I'm going to let Stu take this away, and uh, we're going to run through these profiles and these performances. So check them out. So the rain down performance pack is uh, based around the Stuji D Farewell profiles, which is the, the dual profile of the park and the JMP. Um, and uh, for the intro, I've got two sounds going on. One is like that profile kind of clean with some delay on it, just a, um, a quarter note delay. And, um, and then the, for the second half of the intro, when the band comes in, I've got the, uh, the, the D ruse. Um, so it just has more, more, uh, more gain on that. So, um, so check that out. So for the verse on Rain Down, I don't really play um, a lot in that verse, but uh, what is there, it has this kind of clean sound, um, but it's got flanger on it. And so my kind of inspiration for that is definitely Andy Summers and um, Alex Lifeson, that kind of, uh, that kind of thing where there's a, a nice um, lush modulated flange um, with delay and then that picks up into the pre-chorus and then goes back into an unaffected um, drivey sound for the chorus. <laughs> For the bridge and the big instrumental bits of Rain Down, I'm using the Farewell Rig um, with the same quarter note delay, but with uh, a huge fuzz on it. Um, and um, 
it's one of the sounds on the camper that I'm really excited about. Um, we've used the, we've based it on the, the the muffin fuzz that's in the in, in the camper, and it kind of reminds me of this kind of sounds I was using on Investigate uh, with Delirious and um, and on Rain Down, of course. So um, I'm kind of playing big chords for the first half of it, and then on the record it kind of goes into sort of more of a Brian May type thing where there's harmonies going on but um, when I play it live I just kind of do the first half big chords and the second half the melody. <laughs> So for my glorious, um, when we recorded it, we had to park and uh, we pretty much turned it up to every knob all the way up full. And, uh, and that was the tone for, um, for my glorious. And it kind of like, it's that tone all the way through basically uh, with a few effects on it. Um, when it came to building the, the performance, um, we've used the, the Park L4 profile, which is a really high gain. It's almost up full, not quite. Um, it's just the one that sounded great. And it sounds like the record, honestly, for um, for the Kemper. Um, so the intro and verse one, um, I'm just using the, the L4 profile and it's got a little bit of spring reverb on it um, that, that I uh, matched my spring uh, sound on my pedal board. So um, yeah, that's the intro and verse one of my glorious. It's just simply the Park L4 and a little bit of reverb. For the pre-chorus and the chorus of my glorious try saying that fast um we're using the park l4 again um we've just added some delay that kind of goes in time with the song and um um and that's that's basically it <laughs> So after the first chorus, there's like a, a turn, um, and I put the chorus on there um, on the record and live when we used to to play that, and uh, and that stays on through verse two. <laughs> Thank you. 
So then we get, we go back to the chorus for with, with just L4 and the delay, and uh, and then for the solo, uh, the solo patch is still the part L4 um, with the delay, uh, but it has a, what I call the um, the fuzz romance, which is the other fuzz um, algorithm in the camper, um, but it kind of sounds like the sort of it sounds like my tone bender my color sound tone bender that i used on um uh, god's romance on glow so um it's and it, and it is a killer uh solo tone um the thing with all the delays on the on, on these packs is that um when i'm using delay on my pedal board with my even tide h9s um and, it, and when I was using the Line 6 stuff, it was the same thing. Uh, I have an expression pedal that is changing some of the parameters. So on Kemper, they call it morphing. And so we've um, got the expression pedal that's morphing the, the delays to kind of um, expand the feedback, um, it, lengthen it and, and make it super ambient. <laughs> So when Delirious would do My Glorious Live, there would often be a moment at the end of the song where people just wanted to keep singing, um, glory, glory, send your glory, you know, that, that, that tag. Um, and sometimes we would just play that instrumentally. It would be one of those moments that we just like wait to see what would happen. And so um, I've kind of uh, put a profile in there on, on this pack. This super ambient and um, uh, it's, it's based on the farewell rig. Um, with a big stereo delay and a big ambient reverb and um, it's just super lush and and I hope you're going to enjoy this but um, again I've got the the more function so that it just kind of builds on the repeats and um, you can get some really great things almost sound like you're looping you know but um, uh, yeah I hope you enjoy that For the Did You Feel the Mountains performance, um, we've based every sound on there on the Park uh, Linked series. So we start on L2. Um, and so when we used to do Did You Feel the Mountains Tremble, you know, it, it, the signature beginning of that is that kind of chug sound, you know, jing, 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 but that's all acoustic. And I'm just doing swells um, with that until the big slide thing comes in. So um, basically, we're on L2 with a dotted eighth um, delay, um, and uh, and I'm swelling on that and playing around with the morphing um, until the big slide section comes in, um, which is still L2, I believe, but it's got the big um, fuzz on there, so uh, with all the delay on it. So yeah, that's the intro and uh, and the big slide thing swells. It's all cool, hope you enjoy that.
So on the chorus of Did You Feel the Mountains, we um, use, we're still using the linked park profiles, but uh, we've upped the gain for the chorus. And so we're on L3, um, still with the dotted eighth um, delay that kind of, you know, I've, I've tried to make sound like a memory man um, and, it, and it's pretty good. So, um, so yeah, that's the chorus, L3. So for the solo of Did You Feel The Mountains Tremble, we've used the L4 profile, uh, which is the Park One, turned up uh, like we did on My Glorious, the same, same profile. It's got the dot eighth delay going away. And, um, you know, so, um, and at the end of the solo is when the song really bottoms out. And so on the record and, on, and live, um, because I'm playing drop D, uh, the, the very last note of the, of the solo, goes down to that big D chord with the with the drop D sound and we're flipping on um, a tremolo that kind of does that da, 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 da thing and so um, so we've recreated that on uh, on the patch in the performance and uh, sounds really awesome uh, we, we go back to L the park l3 um, profile for that uh, particular patch and uh, and it's got the the tremolo and the, the dotted eighth delay going on. And it's fun to use the morphine on that again, to get the repeats kind of never ending. <laughs> 